My mother drank Hunter Valley Semyon Lindemans right up to full term. So I say that I actually was drinking Hunter Valley Semyon for roughly nine months before I was born. The first book I wrote was The Wines and History of the Hunter Valley. Uh, Richard Walsh, who was the senior in uh, publishing in those days, came to me and said, I'd like you to write a book putting down everything you know about wine. So I did that. And the idea of what came out of that was decided I needed to do an annual update. It's impossible to mentally line up 5,000 wines in a huge, huge row. And the first thing I do, I just look at the colour. It actually gives me quite a lot of information. Next thing I do is uh, swirl the wine and smell the bouquet. I used to uh, gain 90% of the information just simply from the smell. Tasting it simply served to reconfirm what I'd already thought. Uh, I have one final uh, sip out, bang, down go the points. A great taster must have the relevant sensory abilities, but equally importantly, if not more, has to have immense powers of concentration. Campbell Mattinson is a, a quite extraordinary writer uh, with an economy of words and uh, a healthy disregard for normal punctuation rules. Ned Goodwin uh, has a great palate. He attacks a wine with gay abandon. Words flow in a way that uh, just is unstoppable. Um, Jane Faulkner has been with us for several years now and brings the feminine touch to uh, the otherwise thoroughly male, masculine uh, landscape. Stephen Kruber has got a very interesting background as a fully qualified winemaker, now come out of retirement. It really saves me when I, my back is up against the wall. David Bicknell is our new chum on the tasting panel. To my great joy, he, he said yes uh, last year and he'll do a great job. My thanks do go to the tasters.